Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Julie's Orchids. Today we're going to have a close look at this first time bloomer for me. This is Brasada Memory Birchfield Vinac. Now we'll start off by having a look at what the plant is potted in. Um, I got this plant back in April of 2021 and I initially had it planted in bark. Um, I got this as a seedling plant and you can see it came with these two bulbs here. I've grown all of the rest of them. I have this planted in because it was looking the first initial roots that came off this plant we're looking quite fine, but as these new roots are coming off, these mature pseudo bulbs are getting quite a bit bigger. So I'm going to probably repot this one into a mixture of fine and large pumice after it's done blooming. Um, but foliage wise, it looks like it's a pretty healthy plant. Um, got a little bit of these off the oldest back bulbs and it's grown along quite nicely and is outgrowing its pot. So it's, it's time for a repot for this one. When its next growth comes out and starts putting out new roots, uh, we're going to give this one a nice old repot. As you can see, it's pretty well at the very edge of the pot. Now I can say for a first time bloomer for me, um, some of these flowers haven't opened all the way. This one looks like it's misshapen. There's only six of them on this spike. And I can't say that I, I'm really liking it, but we'll have a look at this one back here. This one right here. We have a nicely formed one here, nicely formed one here. I don't know what happened there. Uh, this one's kind of wonky. Uh, these ones here got kind of wonky. You can see those ones aren't quite open. Um, and then these ones back here are looking okay. Yeah, I like the color and I like the subtle pattern of the little spots on the inside. But uh, just with the flower spacing and whatnot, I'm not super impressed with how pretty this spike is. And I'm hoping it's just because it's a first time bloomer and the last few buds here kind of came out um, malformed. Not sure why. So we'll see what this looks like when the next time it uh, flowers. But yeah, you can really see just kind of how, particularly this one here, wonky that is um, versus what it should look like. So what it should look like. Missing some structures, a little bit wonky. For scent on this one, this one has a real peppery, uh, smell almost like fresh cracked pepper And you know fresh cracked pepper isn't necessarily a bad smell um, I'm just very grateful that it's not a super Strong smell you, you kind of have to bury your nose in it And again, I'm unsure if that's because a it's the first time bloomer uh, B it's not in direct sunlight, but I'm kind of a little bit thankful with the way it smells when I bury my nose in the flowers uh, that it's not a strong room filling smell of cracked pepper. I think it'd be too much. Now, how do I care for these and, and all of my Oncidium types? Um, well, they're all planted in this sort of uh, semi-hydro self-watering setup with the pumice and depending on their root size, either fine pumice for fine rooted plants. Uh, this one now that it's growing mature pseudobulbs is no longer so finely rooted so it will be being repotted once the flower spike fades into a mixture of my large and fine pumice. It seems to be pretty happy with my indoor growing environment so I'm not going to change anything that I'm doing with this plant other than it needs a bigger pot and a little change up in the medium it's potted in. We'll zoom on into this flower here, and this is Brasada Memory Burtfield Vinac. I thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. A subscribe would be great. And everyone have 
a fabulous day.